And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some fearsome to start off our rank up Sunday stream. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be playing some tier one decks for our rank up Sunday stream. Uh, we don't do this like super often, but I know sometimes that um, you know usually we play a lot of like weird decks and you know play everything uh, around the metagame and anything you can build in the Legends of Runeterra. But we're going to take a day today to play some of the very most popular decks, and R Rank Up Sunday is a good day to do that. So for those of y'all that are playing these popular decks, you can see some gameplay with them um, and everything. So uh, we're going to have the Fearsome deck with Pale Cascade. It's going to be the first deck today. Then we're going to have Draven Ezreal, we're going to have Go Hard, and we are going to have Soraka Tom Kench. So all very good decks, all very popular decks. Um, let's see. So our first one, this is going to be our first time actually playing this Fearsome with Pale Cascade deck. Um, it always looks pretty impressive playing against it. The version I'm going with, kind of looking looking at different deck lists and stuff, I'm going to go this one that goes pretty big. We're going to be, I'm not going to be playing as many Glimpse Beyonds, just one Glimpse Beyond instead of the three. And so instead we get some extra top end here, an extra harrowing, extra atrocity. Um, I always like Atrocity in this kind of deck, especially with the ability to get a bunch of Mistwraiths in play and have very large power with the Mistwraiths, um, so you can finish them off with an Atrocity. And then Triple Harrowing for these decks that are trying to kill all of our stuff, um, you know, bring these, uh, you know, can bring stuff back, bring back Wraith Callers that summon more Mistwraiths. So pretty powerful deck here, and of course we're built around the fearsome keyword um, not allowing our opponent to do the the blocking that they want. Um, so basically everything has Fearsome, besides like Doom Beast that does direct Nexus damage. Um, and uh, yeah, get, get in lots of damage, sneak in lots of damage. So, all right, let's give this a try. We're going to go play five games in ranked. That's what we're going to do with all of our decks. It's rank up Sunday. Let's see how we do. Looks like we're at uh, 94 LP to start the day. Ooh. Zed Katarina, I like the look of that. Those are some fun champions. Alright, let's not keep harrowing, but we'll keep the others. Bill Cascade card's awesome. It's a good idea to uh, splash that card. Alright, we'll just start with Mr. Eighth. Start with another Mr. Eighth. Okay. I'm not gonna trade. Not when I have Frenzied Skitter. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Wraith Caller is perfect. We'll get that Ephemeral one to be able to block Zed. I wish I had one more mana. Wish I could go. You know, Rachnoid Horror and then Onlooker, then Skitter. So I think I want to play Skitter, keep these things from blocking. But again, I could do that next turn, though. But I guess we're going to have, like, Harrowing. I guess my next attack... Yeah, my next attack I can set up Harrowing. So I guess I'm going to go... Skitter plus Onlooker? No, I want to play Skitter a second. Let's play this thing first. Well then. That was a good intimidating roar. Don't necessarily expect that out of a Zed Katarina deck. So that worked pretty well. Hmm, 
this is still gonna le I guess that's still gonna level up. I almost want to block like with my arachnoid horror on, um, on the living shadow. Maybe should keep the Zet from leveling up. Yeah, maybe I should have. Cause I don't, I don't have enough room for stuff. I, I, yeah, I should have blocked. I didn't have enough room for for everything. Don't look twice. That works pretty well for them. They've had some good plays. I keep on like thinking. They're gonna be able to they're gonna stun something. I can I keep on like thinking I'm about to. Uh, pull ahead win and they keep on having really good play to stop me. So let's put them down to four. So I'll put them down to two. I have these Doom Beasts. That's the plan. Mm. I should have just... They passed with going to four. I should have just let them go to four. Yeah, I do have two Doom Beasts. Should have let them go to four. This battering ram is pretty scary. Speaking of four, that puts me down to four. Oh. Man. Keep on having some great stuff over there. Good lessons learned, though. I just realized that they. I was kind of setting up harrowing for this turn, but I realized they're probably going to be denying. Good learning game, though. There's, you know, a couple of those decisions that I wish I would have, take, you know, taken back and done some different stuff. Good learning game. First game to kick off the morning. Don't let the fluffy tails fool you. Maybe they don't attack. Without a sound. Well. With them playing that, if we would have drawn Atrocity this turn, like one of these is Atrocity, but again, they probably have Deny. Um. Of course, that's 16 Overwhelm. I don't have any kind of defense that can stop 16 Overwhelm from these battering rams from just battering me. So we're getting battered. We're playing against Karma Lee Sin. Now, this is a deck Karma Lee Sin that we're going to be playing next week on, like, Tuesday, Wednesday. 
something like that in the coming days. Um, so people have been asking about it. I don't think we really need Frenzied Skitter as much in this matchup. I'm not expecting them to have you know, like three power things that block really efficiently. Let's let's mulligan that. Let's keep the, the two Mist Wraith ca cards. And Onlooker is just always great. We can just lead with Onlooker right here with us having the attack token. If I didn't have the attack token, I'd be waiting and playing this with Nightfall later on in the game. But with the attack token, I'm going to get the two damage in. Or not. I don't... I don't think I like Gohard and Lee Sin Karma, to be honest. I'm not I'm not sure, though. But I don't think I do. So I, don't, I don't know if this deck has enough card draw where you want your deck to just suddenly get filled with... Um, go hards, and you don't have other other cards. River shape the land and give it life. Not completely sure about that though. Water changes but never breaks. Mm. They could definitely just pass and do that before they pass. I don't. Wanna, I can't waste all that mana. Okay. A gift from the river folk. Waters are still. What form will the waters take? I can't let just multiple river shapers just draw infinite cards. You're gonna trade with those, and trading's not the worst thing when you're playing harrowing, but of course they are definitely a deny deck, so we're gonna have to try to fit this harrowing in. Um, away from deny. But not the best. We have not been drawing the best, though. There we go. Stalking Shadows is awesome. But, like, Mark of the Isles, Atrocity, those are probably our two worst cards. The good news is I only have one copy of Atrocity, only two copies of Mark of the Isles. We can't draw. <laughs> yeah, we can only draw one more Mark of the Isles. I was trying to think if I wanted to play the Wraithcrawler with Ruination being a very likely card and, you know, or should I attack for four? But I decided that, you know, if they did have Ruination, then we would have um, the Doom Beast and that would work out. Their deck does have a ton of Nexus healing with all the Shadow Isles removal. I walk my path alone. Hmm. It's not a card I was necessarily expecting. I need no weapon. Alright, let's attack. We can attack first. Then the threes and the fours. As fate will. It's just so easy to kill a six one. Let's go with the 4-2. It's just too easy to kill the one health unit. Yeah, you know, like them having like their own vile feast or unspeakable horror. Okay, so we got rid of a deny from their hand. And by playing that, I turn on the nightfall for the for the Doom Beast. And 
and GG's. So basically the opponent needed to they needed to block the solitary monk, they needed to block something else. Alright, so Twisted Fate Ezreal. It's been a while since we've played some Twisted Fate Ezreal. But man, that Ezreal levels up super fast now, because Make It Rain does you know can do the three targets, and that can level up, you know, half halfway for Ezreal. They only need six by itself. All right, we got lots of fearsome, lots of mistrates. They're probably going to be done. You know, like they they can only have so many mystic shots to kill all these things. There's nothing to At least you would think they can only have so many mystic shots. Kind of forgot that we have Elise as a champion. We haven't been seeing our champions at all. Like we saw, like that one Callista that you know that the very end of that first game, whenever we are, had already lost. Oh, I think I get rid of this. We could use a bite. It's just two damage. Best run while you can. All right, there's two out of three Mystic Shots. Of course, they can have Ezreal's Mystic Shots, but... So they're probably going to run out eventually. I'll just wait on the Stalking Shadow. It may help out the Nightfall with the Doom Beast. Later, I don't necessarily need to play it right now. Let's go at least into Frenzied Skitter. Shadow Isle is your favorite region. It's it's a really good region for sure. This Ezreal is going to do a ton. I was hoping they didn't have that card. Getting free Mystic Shots every turn. It's going to do a lot. So remember they have... They have four cards. One of them is my card that costs one less from the Black Market Merchant. Watch and learn. Gotcha. Eh. Not the best hit. Get it back to where it's supposed to be. Firing. We, we shall pierce their treasonous us. Could have tried to level up Elise with these different spiders. Now you've gone and upset it. Expecting them to kill something here. And then I play Frenzied Skitter. Reduce the power of that three power thing. Mm, they missed the Allegiance. That's pretty lucky for me. Did not have a Shadow Isles card on top of their deck. What do their blocks look like? So the 4-3 blocks Elise, the 3-2 blocks Callista, and they had to let everything else go through. Or let's see, then they can block one other thing. Then they have the um, their 2-1 block my 3-2. And they take 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. 
They probably use removal spell at that point. They still use removal spell, but now they can't block with the Doom Beast. Now Elise trades with Wraith Caller. I guess, yeah, I guess Doom Beast blocks this thing. They've already played two Mystic Shots. Wow. Did not have the removal. Like I said, they only have so many Mystic Shots. They can play. I was expecting, you know, like a gotcha or something. Maybe they just had more thermogenic beams. That, wasn't so bad. that they wasn't. weren't really able to play. It's gonna be an interesting matchup. They, I, I assume we're the underdogs here, because I think they're faster, and with vision they can buff up their things to be able to block and everything. I think we're the underdogs. I'm gonna keep Elise and Mulligan the other things. Now, Pill, Pill Cascade was like the other card that I was thinking about to keep with Elise because um, Pill Cascade. Could be nice of like making sure that Elise gets through their champions. And yeah, obviously we didn't we didn't want to turn one onlooker trading with Scrap Scuttler. There's nothing to fear. Yeah, I think I think this is a bad matchup for us. Yeah, those poros are gonna be rough. Man, I have nothing to play this turn. I could play Onlooker into Onlooker. Which I guess I do that. But then but then it's like, how am I turning on the Nightfall for these Doom Beasts if I do that? Next turn we go the Wraith Caller. And then turn so turn five, we just have to find something else, I guess. Then they could also just three mana, like if I try doing that, they play like a Draven that blocks my Elise. I have nothing this turn. So young. That's not too bad for me. I get excited, get rid of an augmented experimenter. So that means they have so they have another augmented experimenter in hand. It means they have two of those in hand. So that's that's definitely a problem having another augmented experimenter. Rules are made to be broken. Yuck. I know this. Her people. They didn't. They had a crowd favorite. They discarded. Hey, Dark Dragoon. Good morning. Now it's a party. They're probably playing this other Daring Poro. I should have waited a turn. Or, you know, waited and played that. I think. Yeah, I, I should have waited. Played the Callista first.
Could have saved one life. It's gonna get us a Wraith Caller and an Elise. Wraith Caller with a Mist Wraith and then an Elise. It's not really enough. Our vengeance has burned long enough. Act now. I know it's obviously a Super Mega Death Rocket kills me. We need to Doom Beast. Because, yeah, like their only spells are, yeah, like get excited and. All that kind of stuff. That should be going upstairs, by the way. But I... But it shouldn't matter. We need to top deck a Withering Whale. We are playing three... Come closer. I don't bite. Yeah, we need to top deck a Withering Whale. It's not in our deck. We are playing three Harrowings, and so far in four games, every Harrowing that we've drawn has just been a dead card. If Harrowing was just Vengeance, we would have had a lot better chance of winning these two games that we lost. All right, there we go, GGS. I think that's I think that's gonna be a bad matchup for us. This is a deck I never like to play against, no matter what I'm playing. I'm never happy to see Fiora Shen. I guess if I'm playing mid-range Frostbite, I'm pretty happy to see it. But just in general, um, I almost always keep Stygian and Onlooker, but I I don't like having things that. Fiora can kill, and they don't need to use a spell to uh, save their Fiora. I guess that's Elise, though, and Elise bringing a spider along. River shape the land and give it life. We, we shall pierce their treasonous us. Yeah, this is a really bad Elise matchup because, like, the, the spiders are just. They're just liabilities against River Shaper and Fiora and cards like that. I missed. The fate of mortals and spirits falls to me. Well, this isn't great. They do know about the pill cascade in my hand. You're in over your head. Let the damage happen. I was think I was hoping they were gonna play Sharp Sight here on the River Shaper. In which case I would have gone Risen Miss Pale Cascade. Um, I'm not sure if I've played a Shen Teemo deck.
I'm not sure. Water changes but never breaks. <laughs> My shield is yours. Honor dictates both our actions. So how do I win this? How do we get 20 damage across through Shen? Is that even possible? Strike, we will reform. Okay, I like that atrocity. A gift from the river folk. The waters are still. Press on. Yeah, because they even have deny for harrowing, so it's it's like they have all the answers. This little combo. Basically Shen Fiora or Shen Screeching Dragon, either one. That is so good. River shape the land and give it life. My plan is to kind of have this Risen Miss be a surprise blocker on the Shen. Can fly, okay. They're playing Young Witch? I pull the strings. Hey Rad. Come on, it must be done. Engulf them. Good. That's my worst card. So young. Harrowing needs to just be vengeance. Again, like we need to like vengeance the screeching dragon this whole time. Like imagine, you know, like I didn't have to spend the two mana on Elise. We could have had vengeance on the screeching dragon. Like this vengeance, this harrowing hasn't been worth anything I, I wouldn't nerf Shen Fiora I don't think anything in Shen Fiora needs to be nerfed Any possible lines? I don't know. Maybe, maybe multiple frenzied skitters can keep them from blocking. So I go. No, I've not played Tarek Timo. I've not played that. Yeah, like, I, I expect them just to go with a barrier instead of a deny with this atrocity. Yeah, it makes more sense to use a barrier, plus to get the plus three, plus zero with the barrier. Well, guess it's game. Shen is so underrated. Shen's one of the best champions in the game. All right, so not the best showing for the Fearsome deck, to be honest. Not not the best showing there. Um, yeah, honestly, I was I was pretty I was pretty underwhelmed with this deck, to be honest. Like I, I thought it was going to be a lot better than it was. Really, what I was what I was really disappointed about was Harrowing. 
and Atrocity. Both Harrowing and Atrocity looked completely useless. Like, five games. They they were not a card I ever, ever wanted to cast. And what and so basically what the problem was with this deck is he just had no removal. And I think that that was actually kind of a problem. Mark of the Isles looked really useless. Um, you know, Pill Cascade's good, but I, I just didn't like Mark of the Isles or Atrocity or Harrowing at all. You know, maybe, you know, so... Um, I guess maybe going with more glimpse beyonds, but I honestly I just want removal. I don't I don't know why this deck can't play any any like you know I know you're supposed to be aggressive and all that kind of stuff, but yeah, like these these cards are, didn't look very good, and I think I would I would recommend playing uh, some removals. You know you can have you can have black spear. Let's see, so like shadow house has just amazing removal. I don't think you really want like vile feast, but I mean unspeakable horror creating nightfall cards is good. Now I know that's only like a drain one, but I mean that's that's just a good a good card. You don't want Vile Feast. But you could have like Unspeakable Horror, you could have Black Spear, um, and then you could have you don't want Crumble. Um Withering Whale helps your discard aggro matchup, but it kinda just that. Then you can have Vengeance. You know, like Vengeance being able to kill like that Jinx would have been clutch, or you know, having this for like the Shen or the Dragon. Um you know, like, I, I don't... Yeah, I'd would, I would just rather have Vengeance, basically. So I think what I'd want to do here is maybe play... Uh, th not play Mark of the Isle, not play Harrowing, not play Atrocity. Honestly, just really, really underwhelmed by all those cards. Maybe get some more Glimpse Beyonds in here, so you can play a little bit of a longer game, you know, without having Harrowing. And honestly, I would play I would play Vengeance. I would play three Vengeance. Um, Sunburst is always underrated, too, by the way. But I'll probably play three Vengeance and then like one Unspeakable Horror or a Black Spear and probably... This does a really good job killing champions these days. And it's really necessary to kill those champions, but... Um, maybe Unspeakable Horror, because that... Let's see, that shut down like a barrier. Maybe just a Black Spear. Yeah, I think... I mean, honestly, I think that's what I would probably do is I'd just play a Black Spear and play Vengeance. I know I've done I've done that before in the past with decks like this, and I've been really happy with it. But I know I know you like we're just playing like our like the stock list of like what what a lot of people play with these tier one decks today. But honestly, I really think this could be an upgrade. I really do. I think the vengeance could be better. Um, yeah, so I, that's what I recommend. I'd re I'd go one black spear, three vengeance, three glimpse beyond, and go with that. Uh, moving forward and, and see see what these uh, more removal spells look like see what it's like to play multiple glimpse beer uh, glimpse beyonds yeah i'd go with that all right so there we go there's fearsome those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button over there and please leave those comments please let me know what you think of this i know this is this is you know completely different playing this as the top end card but i i really think that um being able to kill the opponent's champions is really important and I think this could do more than Harrowing. Harrowing really didn't look good in my hand at all. It's not a card that I ever wanted to cast um, in five games. And if it's if that's the case, like I, I just don't really know if I really want to play it. Like yes, you could have like your opponent cast a Ruination, and then you play a Harrowing, and that's cool. But that seems pretty corner case, and uh, I think I'd rather just for the um, vast majority of games, I'd rather just have that removal spell with Vengeance. All right, but yeah, let me let me know what you think of that. I, I uh, wanted to know what y'all on YouTube think about playing a Vengeance and a Black Spear instead. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Fearsome. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.